Coco bone strong. Coco, Coco, Coco bone strong. All about money. So, so sweet like some honey. Tasting my chocolate chip cookie. I need an ass for the rookie. Yeah. Coco, Coco, Coco bone strong. Coco, Coco, Coco bone strong. All about money. So sweet like some honey. Tasting my chocolate chip cookie. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tosh, a.k.a. Coco Bone. And I'm coming at y'all with my opinion on the whole Glorilla concert stampede situation. Now, I did just move into my new place, so yay for me. But, you know, I'm still trying to get things, you know, settled in. And I will be back on camera very soon. However, I'm not here to talk about my personal life. I am here to give my opinion on this particular sad, crazy situation. Situation. So I'm just going to play this news article really fast and then I'm going to come back with further commentary. A second person has died after a crowd stampede at Sunday's Glorilla and Finesse Two Times concert in Rochester, New York. Audience members had rushed for the Main Street Armory's exits because of unfounded fears of gunfire. You can see in this video here what it looked like last night as these uh, reports were coming out as we're now learning more information about this. So uh, the second person, this update now comes that a second person has died after that concert. And when what happened on Sunday night in Rochester was after that concert had wrapped up, there were reports of a shooting, reports of gunfire, a large crowd of people had rushed out to try to get out of the venue and it turned deadly. Two people now have died following that stampede. Police have said there's no evidence that there was a shooting, no evidence of gunfire, but they are investigating this and the circumstances that led up to this. What made it deadly? Was it the number of people at the venue or any other surrounding circumstances? So we're continuing to follow this major story out of New York. Sharon, thanks so much for being with us. What more do we know this evening? Any new details in this? Yeah, it's, it's really hard to fathom. Everyone that was at this concert was there to have a good time. They were enjoying themselves. The concert was over, and it was just about 11 o'clock, and something spooked the crowd. There's no other way to put it, and whether they thought they heard gunfire either in the venue itself or outside. Some people described pepper spray. They didn't know what was happening, but whatever it was, it frightened enough in the crowd that they started to run, and actually that is where people started to get trampled as they fell uh, a frightening night as you can imagine and of course left two women dead this is a tragedy of epic proportions and it's something that all of us who love concerts worry about i am a big concert guy um, anyone that knows me well knows that i will go to concerts all around the country to see my favorite artists and I will tell you that when you go to a concert, you do not expect to be trampled. Rochester's mayor reacting to a deadly stampede following performances by Memphis rap stars Glorilla and Finesse two times at the Main Street Armory in upstate New York. What happened at this concert breaks my heart and it is totally unacceptable. Rochester police say two women died after being trampled trying to leave the concert venue. Another person is in critical condition. Seven other concert goers have non-life threatening injuries. Investigators say fears of gunfire led the crowd to storm toward the exits at the end of the concert. But police say there is no evidence of a shooting. As people began to exit, the crowd began to surge and rush toward the exit. There are some reports that shots were heard causing the crowd to panic, but that has not been confirmed. Well, the mayor of Rochester vowing to get to the bottom of what happened. He says he will hold the venue accountable if they are in violation. Police will also be looking at crowd size to see if it exceeded capacity of that venue. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. And back here live in our newsroom now, another uh, point that we discovered today is not just the Rochester Police Department, but also the Fire Marshal's Office in Rochester and a number of other agencies will really be uh, combing through the evidence and trying to figure out what triggered this crowd to run. And they will be looking especially at the armory. That's the venue where the concert took place to find out if they were violating any of the building codes in this because as you heard the mayor say, he's passionate about this. He wants to find out how this could have happened and make sure 
that it never happens again. I'll send it back to you, Lexi. Yeah, Sharon, this is uh, so tragic and unimaginable to think these people went out to, like you said, enjoy this evening at the concert and for something like this to happen. Thanks so much for that report and update. Fox 5's Sharon yes, Crowley. You're welcome. All right, so y'all have seen the news article, and honestly, in my opinion, I personally think this was another Travis Scott situation. You know, the only difference was it wasn't like no big Hellgate type of concert or anything like that, but the actions behind it was still very satanic and demonic. I mean, it's at a point now where I don't even think people can go to concerts no more. You can't even go to a concert and enjoy your favorite celebrity because these celebrities are willing for you to be dumb enough to like trample over each other and no disrespect to you know the ones that are deceased and no longer here but I'm just saying like this is how your favorite celebrities be thinking of you like they think you're stupid you're not going to pay attention to your safety and unfortunately you know they come out right because now we in another situation where you know a stampede has happened again an innocent soul had lost their life you know over trying to support their favorite celebrity. I mean, it's just crazy. And it's just getting to a point where a lot of you ladies, y'all have to start opening up your third eye of consciousness. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of women always want to turn their ears from this type of conversation as far as with, you know, our favorite female celebrities, whether they're rappers or singers, you know, worshiping the Illuminati. Like, I understand, like, you trying to show support and girl power and all that but I think it's about time women start to really open a third eye of consciousness up and wake up their minds to believing that, you know, these women that we look up to, they have sold their souls. They're satanic. You know, they're not for girl power. They just use that to lure us into them. And then they attack us with this demonic music. They attack us with not having no real security because they have enough money now to make sure that none of their fans lose their lives. And the fact that now we are living in times where if you go to these concerts, you are putting yourself at risk of possibly never going back home. So this is something that needs to really marinate on a lot of female brains, man because a lot of women don't like to talk about the Illuminati and you know how the elites are basically hoping that we be dumb enough to trample over each other and die and all that stuff just for our favorite celebrities to get more fame and money at the end of the day a lot of the times these celebrities they have to be blackmailed with something like they have to have incidents allegedly happen I gotta say allegedly to protect myself from YouTube trying to copyright me and you know give me a strike and all that stuff so allegedly they have to sit up here and do these weird sacrifices in order to obtain their fame and fortune and it's just really sad that a lot of more so female are not trying to hear this type of real conversation and I just really think it's about time for women to really be more conscious and be more aware. I understand that you don't want to believe in stuff like this and you just want to have fun. You just want to think about the positives. There's nothing wrong with trying to be positive. I'm not down in that at all. But there is something wrong when you're willing to turn away your third eye of consciousness because of the fact that you want to support your favorite female celebrity and it's at a cost of your own life. You know, this is just a really sad situation. But you guys comment down below and tell me how y'all feeling about this. Because I personally believe, my personal opinion, I think that this was a sacrifice. I don't know. I just think times are just getting scarier and scarier with these concerts. I won't be egging on my son to go to a concert because I'm afraid of him. God forbid not coming back home because of these celebrities not caring about our loved ones you know what i'm saying but anyway y'all leave y'all comments down below please make sure to like comment subscribe share show your girl some love help your girl get to 3,000 subs make sure to leave some suggestions down in the comment section down below and please give me a big thumbs up for it helps to push my videos further out into the algorithm i'm out this bitch deuces we live in the world is extremely so cruel hitting below the bell man that's not cool my feelings is i'm to the point where i got a fork and i'm just eating this sauce like it's food Yum. bitch when i'm corny and they gonna be shit bitches is hoping i die when i'm sick i might as well go to the sex store to buy me a strap on to wear because they all on my dick worry about me what i just do worry about me and what i just said the audience look at your life as a boo a fake as the snake when the real skin have shed